this is uh, the last meetup of this year i think uh, you know thanks a lot for everybody you know uh, for joining all the meetups aizumal especially who has been on our side pushing cida um i'll take only like you know 6 or 7 minutes to go through some of this stuff but i want to give more time to my dear friend usman and uh, the team from fis global to talk about their use cases and why they chose uh, cida so just to you know again uh, by the way this uh, Aizumal and uh, the team. This is being recorded, and it will be available offline also for the um, for the folks who haven't, you know, who are, who cannot make it. Right. So let me just uh, sh share my slides quickly and jump through it. I don't want to take too much time because I want to give more time to uh, Usman and team. So um, when we started this journey, I think you know, I just wanted to do a refresher. All right. You know, basically. um our vision had stayed uh, very intact you know what we wanted to do from a google standpoint was cdap was formed with certain founding principles that they wanted to provide a uh, a data analytics platform an open source platform so what we have done at google is we are still completely backing this community uh, this open source project we want to provide a secure reliable best in class enterprise data integration platform Uh, for all etl data preparation data movement and data ingestion capabilities uh, to help customers unlock and realize the value of the data and democratize the data so the the and, and i think one of the key things that we have done at at google is we are using the same platform in our cloud data fusion which is our cloud product that is available for uh, google cloud customers uh, but the key uh, principle for us is we actually whatever investments we are making uh we are making in cdap and we are taking part of those features and functionalities making them available in 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 google cloud data fusion so unlike investing heavily into data fusion and then only releasing few things the 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 principle on which we are operating is we add everything on cdap and then we figure out what needs to be available for our customers in the data fusion so which means that we are completely invested heavily into cdap our engineering team is completely invested into you know cdap uh, uh, platform now everybody has seen this the the challenges that we are trying to solve is you know empower all per personas ensure that there is business it collaboration uh, you know solve the integration hairball problem hide complexity wherever we can but cdap can also you can also you know peel back the covers and do whatever you want we should be able to port and you know the 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 same thing you should be able to run it on on premises on any cloud on google cloud if you want and you should be able to scale at will i think that was the founding things and you know with that we actually have created a data operating system which has all the connectors which has metadata services everything that is all baked in so again this is just a refresher now if you go in we just released 6.5 now with 6.5 there are you know five key things that we have done first is connection management and you know what we have done with connection management is that you know when you actually use pipelines within cdap today you have to create connections for every single pipeline and you cannot reuse you can parameterize them but you know you cannot reuse connections so we'll have we have now a central repository our engineering has worked on this feature where we have a central repository where you can create connections store connections and you can use it in wrangler use them in pipelines i think that's something that we have done uh, we are also doing a lot of elt workload so whatever who are customers like you know who are using bigquery if they want to take our joiner and run it in you know bigquery some aggregations and stuff like that we actually are gearing towards like you know what we want to do is our vision is to provide an adaptive execution framework within the platform eventually where you don't have to worry, worry about where you are executing the workloads it will execute the workloads based on the sls and stuff like that so that's something that we are actually doing so as part of it we want this product we like cdap does not have an execution engine it runs on various execution engine as long as you have a spark cluster we can run it on a spark cluster so eventually you want to be able to say my execution engine can be spark or bigquery or some database or something and then it will actually plug and play and it will figure out how it is going to run but for now we are actually doing elt on bigquery um we also have some uh, doc ai ingestion that we have done i i don't think this is relevant for the broader team over here but i think what i wanted to showcase over here is if you look at data fusion there are few things that we are doing with ai ml and you know like you know we can do um 
voice to text translation using AIML packages. We can actually do image uh, image uh, um, uh, processing with our Doc AI team. So we are actually doing invoices. We are doing all that stuff that is available on Data Fusion. This feature is not available on CDAP, but there is a lot of Doc AI capabilities and AIML capabilities that are getting embedded in CDAP itself. Um, we have said Spark 3 by default. Cluster reuse is something that is very important because today what happens is when you run these workloads on Dataproc, let's say you are using CDAP and you are running it on Google Cloud on Dataproc, there is some time that is spent on bringing up the cluster and stuff like that. For smaller jobs, when you want to run the jobs in 30 seconds or 40 seconds, unfortunately, you know the, the cluster startup time and teardown time is taking out. So we are trying to figure out for smaller jobs, we have added a preview capability where you can actually do cluster reuse. Now, this is also available on CDAP. So if you are using Dataproc and you want to use cluster reuse, that is all available. So I have a few slides over here. I'm not going to go through the slides. We'll share through the slides. I want to make sure that I'm cognizant of the time. I want to give you an insight into what's coming, right? What are the things that we are we are working on? We'll share the slides uh, with the forum over here. Uh, first is we are going to be doing a lot more ELT for BigQuery. So with aggregations, filtering, more joining capabilities that are going to come in, you should be able to say that at this transformation, I want to do push down to query BigQuery. That means that the data is already in BigQuery. We are actually doing filtering, aggregations, everything on BigQuery. That's something that we are working on. We are actually massively overhauling Wrangler. What I mean by that is today, if you look at CDAP, you drop Wrangler, you, you can go to Wrangler and you generate a pipeline. Wrangler is the you know, second stage in your pipeline. But wherever you drop Wrangler, let's say you can use Wrangler in a pipeline wherever you want, like you know, after five stages, after six stages. The problem is that Wrangler doesn't have full experience, right? You know, when you open it, you only see a little bit of directives that you can add, but you can't use the user experience. Eventually, our goal is to be able to provide inline wrangling experience wherever you are. Wherever you are in the pipeline, you can open up, you can actually do data preparation and then go back to your pipeline. In order to do that, there are a few things that we have done. Connection management was one thing that we have done because there are connection management that is available in Wrangler. And then we want to do, you know, now we are actually consolidating the parsing mechanisms between the parsing that is available in pipeline and Wrangler. I think that way you will have one single way of parsing, you know, all the flat files and, you know, CSVs, TCVs, TSVs, uh, JSONs, everything in one place. And then going forward, I think that's our eventual vision. So we'll be in, in, uh, investing a lot more into wrangling so that data analysts and data engineers who want to prepare the data can use wrangling. Connection management, we are going to add it to the sinks. Right now, it's only in the sources for certain sources. We're going to expand it to all the tier one sources, and then we are going to add it to the uh, sinks. And we are going to add some additional capabilities on connection management like edit. We are adding telemetry APIs. Now, this is critical for customers who are using CDAP and you want to build your own data ops platform and monitoring platform. So we will add a lot more APIs so that you can actually build your own data ops dashboard and use the telemetry APIs. And finally, this one is closest to Bhushan, uh, who is our uh, you know, products lead on, on data fusion and CDAP. Uh, what we are trying to do is we are adding replication transformation framework. So today we can do replication using change data capture that we already package. You could also use Google's own technology called data stream. But you can't, you know, we don't allow you to transform the data. So we are actually going to add framework in which customers can build their own custom transformations. We'll also add few minor transformations that we want to enhance the transformation capability between replication when you are moving data in real time. So at least these are the big investments that we are actually making for first half of next year. So when we meet in Q1 of another meetup, then we'll we'll share some more uh, 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 some more. Um, uh, some other investments that we are making very heavily. So these are just the few things that we are working on for, for first half of next year. So with that, you know, I just wanted to take this opportunity to introduce uh, uh, the, the team from FIS. If uh, folks don't know what FIS is, they are a global Fortune 500 company. Um, they have got a lot of reputation. You know, they also have uh, subsidiaries like WorldPay. Um, and I think Usman and I crossed our paths when we were in, the, in when when Usman was actually with his previous uh, employer and and he's been a big fan of CD, CDAP and big proponent of data fusion and CDAP. So uh, he has graciously agreed and his team has agreed to actually present here. So with that, over to you, Usman.
Thank you.